I heard the voice of one calling. In the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Yes, I heard there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow up from his root. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall rest upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The sign are now fulfilled. The time is at hand. The star has appeared. The star that will light the way to Bethlehem, to the town of David, to the humble Bethlehem. Go, make haste, and seek him with all your soul and with all your mind.
distance. The sky was clear, the stars glittered at Joe's. One star that seemed to have a shone brighter than this. As we gazed at the bright star in wonder, we suddenly were surrounded by a bright light, and an angel stepped out of that light and came to us. It was troubled and fear, but the angel spoke to us and said, Do not be afraid, for I have good news for all mankind. For your Savior Christ the Lord is born today in the city of David. You will know him when you find him after the proclamation. Suddenly the bright star exploded. There was sky and color and music and angels filled the night sky and their voices filled the earth. The valleys and mountains rang their song. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to all men. Over and over he sang these words and time stood still. And then just like that, everything went black as if nothing had happened. We looked at each other. We looked at each other and wondered if it were all real. And it was real, but we could still hear the music in our hearts. We grabbed what we could and ran to the end of the street of Bethlehem. Passing through the houses where people stopped. Not knowing that God himself was in their town. We made our way to the state there are the mangers, they are new born in the world, and they came into the sky and faced. We knew we were in the presence of the Holy One, and we fell on our knees in worship. As we knelt by the manger, we realized that we had nothing to offer the God of God. We knelt in the sky and faced. Then I had an idea. Why not give this baby Jesus? Only in the time of death. How could they be?
kingdom, eat from my table, enjoy the pleasure of my company, and then insult me by sneaking away like jackals off the night. Jackals! Cowards! Can't you see? I am the victim here. They came in from the wasteland like a desert wind, and my spies followed them into the marketplace in search for a king of the Jews. I had them brought here to my palace, where there is only you. One king of the Jews, and that is me, Herod. Show them my most relevant face and welcome them with open arms. King of the Jews, you say? I ask. I am the reigning king of Judea. But if you say that this king has been prophesied and shown to a star, then he must be a real king. I will help you find him. But in the meantime, this calls for a celebration, bring in the food, the wine, the music. Fool! I was just relating to a story here. Or where was I? You were celebrating, sire. Ah, yes, I'll be gone. So, I told these foreigners, go find the newborn king. And when you do, come back and let me know. So I too may go and worship him. But little did they know that I had something in plan because I would never, never let any rival take my throne as soon as those filthy foreigners come back with information. I shall take with me my finest assassins and personally make sure that this baby, this imposter, will cease to be a threat to my throne. Sire, we've just gotten word that the foreigners are no longer country. What? Yes, sir. Your stumble slipped to a roadblock. Should we go to the Imbeciles, but now it'll be impossible to find them. It'll even be useless to pursue them. I will have it my way again. I will demand retribution through the blood of all male children. Two years and under, take with you your finest men. Do not return, do not, do not, do not ever, ever return until your swords are covered in blood. Only then shall my anger be assuaged. What are you waiting for? Now, you may leave. Thank you. <laughs> we have some best sticks for the little one. We are excited indeed to tell you about the best thing that ever happened in a household of one particular night. It was the busiest time of the year. Many people were coming from different places to stay in our day. We were facing the new things that we have The inn was full.
Christ. My wife and I are overwhelmed with joy and with fear. For how can we, with our flaws and imperfections, ever hope to raise up the creator of the universe? But look at him now, sitting peacefully without a worry in the world, the agony and the strength is very close to us as he raised his